tarantulas. They're among the most feared of all animals. But actually, many smaller species of spiders are much more dangerous. There's over 900 species of tarantulas that occur right the way around the world. And most are just mildly venomous. There's not a single case of a tarantula causing a human fatality. The very biggest get up to 30 centimeters across. And this girl in here, she's got to be getting on for that size. She's a pretty big spider. The biggest tarantulas of all can eat not just insects, but even birds. There's a group in South America called the bird-eating tarantulas. And in parts of Peru, there are local legends of species that are said to take chickens. And they're locally known as the chicken-eating tarantulas. Like all spiders, tarantulas have eight legs and often two big, powerful, venom-injecting fangs at the front. Some species can actually flick the hairs on the backs of their abdomen and also on their legs as a form of defense. And some the hairs are irritant, as they irritate any predators that come and try and attack these incredible spiders. To see the anatomy of tarantulas, you have to really look up close at the shedded skins. Like all arthropods, tarantulas have to shed their skins in order to grow. And every time they cast off their skins, they grow a little bit larger each time, progressively getting to their, their maximum size. Just looking at such a skin, here are the two fangs at the front, these big, shiny, sparkling fangs that are basically hypodermic needles for injecting that venom into their victims. Here are the eight legs, and at the back, the abdomen. At the very base of the abdomen, many tarantulas have these large spinnerets for secreting silk. Many species can secrete silk not just from the spinnerets, but also from the tips of their toes to make their intricate webs. Tarantulas also have two claws on each of their feet, which makes them perfect climbers. On the top of the thorax, you can see their eyes, these tiny little dots. Each tarantula has many eyes that give a great field of vision. Many species of tarantulas make really interesting pets. All you really need is a, a cage like this one. Make sure it's a suitably large cage for the size of your tarantula. This cage here would be suitable for a, a small to medium sized species, but not a really large one like this. They like to have a good roam around and explore their environment. Tarantulas like something to hide under, and some people put a, a styrofoam cup that's been cut in half to give it a little shelter. But a bit of bark, cork bark like this, perhaps is better because they can grip it and explore really nicely. And that gives them a little shelter to hide away during the, the, during the bright conditions of the day. Make sure you firmly attach the lid of your tank because tarantulas are incredibly good at climbing and they will escape if they possibly can. You might get a bit of a surprise when you're not expecting it. All you really need to do is keep the tank nice and warm. Remember that many tarantula species are tropical and subtropical, so they'll like to stay at about 25 degrees Celsius or warmer. And you can easily achieve that by putting the tank on a heat pad. Don't forget to, to put half of the tank on the heat pad and leave half of the tank free so that the spider has a bit of a cooler area to go and, and chill out in if it gets too hot. All tarantulas eat live food, so you can't put in dead insects, they won't eat them. So you need to acquire live large crickets or locusts from your local pet shop. You might see on the internet people holding tarantulas and petting them and allowing them to crawl all over them. Although many species are placid enough to be handled, many also have those irritant hairs. So it's generally recommended not to handle your tarantula because it can cause irritation to your skin. But if you provide the tarantula with suitable conditions, he'll live very happily for many years and provide years of enjoyment. For more information, please visit the Weird and Wonderful Pets website where you can download information PDFs and secure your copy of the accompanying book.